showing you guys what $300 gets you in a one night cruise here in Halong Bay, Vietnam. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm here in uh, Halong Bay, uh, Vietnam and I'm about to board my cruise, my $300 US dollar cruise for one night in the world's cheapest country or one of the world's cheapest countries. Uh, but yeah, I'm here, here at Rita Cruise. The boat isn't actually here, so basically uh, what we are going to do is we are going to board a small speedboat here that's going to take us to our boat because our boat apparently is too large uh, to come here at the uh, main port so we have to take a speedboat first that's going to take us to the main boat and I'm going to be giving you guys a tour on the, on the cruise once I get there so basically uh, it costs as I said 300 US dollars for one night and it basically includes uh, all meals and some activities which are uh, kayaking and uh, whatnot uh, in the Halong Bay area which I'm gonna be also showing you guys uh, hopefully once I get there but anything else uh, drinks and uh, whatnot are not included in the price so I guess it is what it is but you can also book a transfer with the company it's gonna cost you around uh, $30 uh, one way and it's uh, that's from uh, Hanoi it's around a two-hour drive uh, from uh, Halong Bay and they pick you up in a bus $30 for two people so that's $15 per person for a transfer I only booked a transfer to take me back to Hanoi uh, I didn't book a transfer to come here because I was already in uh, Haiphong and now in uh, Halong but yeah let me just show you a little bit the port over here it is pretty big, the ships are pretty big and I'm gonna show you, they told me that uh, our ship that is much bigger, that's why we have to get a speedboat is actually double the size of this one so I'm gonna be showing you now but yeah, so these are the cruise ships over here in the port, as you can see all the cruise ships so it's basically double the size of this one it has a swimming pool, I think it has a gym and we booked a nice little uh, uh, premier suite with a balcony, I think all the rooms in our uh, boat have a balcony uh, I'm kind enough to uh, promote Rita Cruz for giving me a discount on my fare and I will leave the link uh, down below in the description if you guys are planning uh, a boat trip with uh, in Halong Bay you can uh, try Rita Cruz if you like what you're gonna see in this video but as of now I'm gonna wait for my speedboat and then I'm gonna take you guys on a tour of a $300 per night cruise ship here in Halong Bay so just made it here to the uh, to the cruise from uh, the speedboat there's it oh that AC ah, that was really much needed I think we go upstairs or something Upstairs. Hello. I'm fine. And you? So now we're gonna be going, heading to the third floor. Where we're gonna have some uh, some lunch, and after that we're gonna check in our room. Hello. Hello. Thank you. So. Nice little welcome drink. That's a nice little juice. Uh, two people. So, for all right. So we got a. Thank God we we got a little nice seat here. Let me just show you the view, guys. Look at that. All right, that looks good. I'm just gonna sit down. And uh, all right, the, we have the uh, buffet over there. So I'm gonna just sit down. They told us uh, they're gonna give us a small little briefing about safety and itinerary for this uh, for this two days. We're gonna be one day. We're gonna be on the boat. And uh, I'm gonna catch you guys probably with my lunch. The uh, lunch buffet just started. I'm gonna show you guys a bit the uh, options here. And uh, I'm gonna sit down. But for now, as you can see here, we start from here. 
We have some spring rolls. Those over there, some uh, some salads, and uh, over here we have the uh, the sweets and the fruits. Look at how the watermelon is planted here. Definitely a nice attention to uh, detail, but yeah, uh, just gonna give you a, a tour around first, probably, and then I'm gonna put some food in my plate and try the food and uh, see if it's good. Because uh, I can do both with uh, the camera and whatnot. So I'm gonna take you around to the uh, to the other things, and I'm gonna show you the options over there as well. Start here from uh, have some uh, chicken soup. These were uh, prawns. But now they're out of stock. You're gonna have to wait for some prawns. You have uh, steamed prawn with uh, lemongrass. Or oh, wait, is that the? Uh, I have no idea. You have uh, some seafood spring rolls. So yeah, you have prawn. <laughs> some uh, noodles. I think that's some uh, chicken, some beef over there as well. Let me just check. Yeah, so that's one. Uh, that is uh, it's beef stew and the other one is uh, chicken, grilled chicken. Then you have some, uh, what's this? Grilled pork. Some sticky rice. Some uh, vegetables, yeah. So, a lot of options some seafood, some uh, meat options, so I guess it's gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna fill my plate. Hello! We love, we love, we love. You good? We love. How are you? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You're fine? I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. So, as I said, I'm gonna fill up my plate. The crew here is very, very, uh, really nice, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna fill up my plate. I'm gonna cut you guys at the table and uh, give them a, a try. So the food was absolutely extraordinary. Everything was on point from the beef to the prawns to the chicken it was absolutely amazing 10 out of 10 the sweets were kind of not to my liking because it was like mango matcha whatnot it wasn't the best but the fruits were fresh and excellent so this is swimming pool you got a nice little swimming pool and of course you have the amazing view of Halong Bay here look at that we're currently moving right now so I guess it's time to take you guys to uh, to my uh, suite I think uh, and if I'm not mistaken I've got upgraded uh, I didn't really understand what he said but uh, whilst you're sitting down waiting for your uh, for the food to start uh, the people from the deck actually come and uh, hand you out the cards for your room and they said that I'm in a presidential suite the best one in the entire boat now I only booked a junior suite I don't know I didn't upgrade but maybe they did for me so I'm gonna head down right now and check the uh, check the e-room as well my guess was right we got upgraded into the presidential suite here it is 399 there's only two presidential suites and we got one of them and if I'm not mistaken it is pretty expensive to stay one night here so I'm gonna show you guys the room I've already seen it but it, it's your guys turn it is absolutely crazy here it is humongous are you guys ready look at this it is absolutely crazy let's start with the shower just so just so you guys uh, can get how extreme this is so first of all we have a Nice little shower over here. We have a jacuzzi bathtub. Look at this. That is absolutely insane. You have a nice little headrest and you have a toilet here that is multifunctioning controls. It has like everything here. Even a temperature for sitting. That is absolutely crazy. That is luxury. And the room. The room, it is absolutely insane. We have a humongous bed. Look at this, huge nice little bed, we have a nice little sitting area, we have the view of the jacuzzi, big big windows overlooking Halong Bay, look at that view, that is stunning man, I, 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 I'm, I was guessing that one night here wouldn't be enough, and now that I'm 
viewing Halong Bay and uh, the room and whatnot, it's definitely not enough. Definitely not enough. But another extreme part over here, we have a our own massaging seat. Look at this. It is absolutely crazy. Damn. Even seats for uh, massage is absolutely damn. I'm gonna have a, a nice little, nice little night over here, and uh, just gonna go outside, give you guys a view of what's here. So we have our own little huge balcony over here, two sun beds, and our own little mini golf course over here, which we can play some uh, nice little golf. But yeah, absolutely stunning views. Look at this. We have the whole of Halong Bay. We are in the heart of uh, Halong Bay over here, as you can see. Absolutely incredible. And damn, this view from the bedroom is absolutely stunning. It's very peaceful here. Uh, I'm really shocked with the uh, with the room. We initially booked a junior suite, and we got upgraded to a presidential suite, which is absolutely wonderful. But yeah, that's the room. I'm gonna take you guys with me hopefully to uh, some activities uh, once they start, maybe some kayaking, I'm gonna take you guys uh, up to the golf court, the pool, the gym, whatnot, and see if it's, if the $300 price tag is actually worth it here in a Halong Bay cruise in Vietnam. So, we also have a little nice friend that came to visit us. Apparently, she sells beers. And logically, should be cheaper than the uh, than the uh, cruise because as I said before, things are not included in the price. So five beers, two hundred thousand Vietnamese donk, and I think she's gonna put it probably in the net, bring it up to me, and then I'm gonna put the money in the net. And she's running us. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, she has everything there. You have wines, you have whiskey. She's going under the ship. Oh, she just crashed on our ship. I thought weird. I don't know. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, okay. I put it inside. Hey. Oh, I think that was got five beers. She got two hundred k. Thank you, thank you. And uh, because the wind was blowing the money. To actually uh, put the net upside down, so the money could, uh, could uh, flow up, and I, I guess she's uh, pretty experienced. So yeah, another uh, nice little part for uh, for Vietnam. But I'm gonna sit down here, probably enjoy my beer with this amazing little view over here. I'm gonna catch you guys later on when we have uh, some activities. Up here in the uh, sky bar. We have basically some uh, sitting area and the bar over there and uh, I think there's gonna be music and whatnot around like uh, 5 p.m. or something something like that and uh, there's another floor here this is the fifth floor of the cruise and I think there's some a mini golf over here or something probably yeah so there's a mini golf over here you can enjoy some golf They're absolutely great and I'm alone up here it is insane but I have a golf in my uh, balcony so it's not as big but I guess I can play by myself or something I look at the view over here it is absolutely stunning man an amazing view look at that it's just endless endless limestone rocks you even have a I don't know if you can see that over there you even have a small little beach area with some palm trees over there look at that I don't know if you can catch that with the uh, with the camera but just over there there's a small little uh, sand with uh, palm trees and whatnot it's definitely a nice experience over here and uh, I thought there were gonna be like uh, many cruise ships because when I've seen like uh, videos talking about uh, Halong Bay and whatnot there's uh, there's some pictures on the internet with uh, just a ton load of uh, cruise ships and there are quite a lot to be honest I don't know if you can see them in the far distance over there but there's probably like 10 of them maybe like 12 maximum so I don't think it's really that bad 
the water looks a bit green, greenish. It's not like uh, super clear waters like you can find in the Maldives and whatnot, but still very beautiful. Doesn't uh, doesn't seem to be uh, polluted with trash. Seems pretty clean. I haven't seen any trash yet inside, so I'm gonna keep you updated about that. But yeah, uh, I said a pretty nice cruise and. Uh, just for your information, if you're planning a, a trip here in uh, Halong Bay, you want to check uh, the cruises here. Uh, there's a lot of cruises, actually a ton of options, probably like thousands of options. So all the cruises, I think, basically are rated five stars here. So it's the ultimate luxury thing to do in, uh, in Vietnam. But watch out before booking one because some cruises might be cheaper, but some things might not be included. Let's say most of the uh, most of the cruises I uh, I found here in uh, Halong Bay actually didn't have like a swimming pool. So if you are looking for those type of things, just make sure to uh, check what cruise you are booking in, because as I said, most of the cruise ships here, the lower budget ones, don't uh, have don't offer a swimming pool. They just offer a an upper deck with some sun beds over there. If you want to have a swimming pool. Like this one over here you have to find a ship that has a swimming pool there's a lot of them out there so if that's what you're looking for make sure to uh check them out before uh, actually selecting your uh, booking but i don't care about swimming pools i don't care about anything i want just to experience this this magical beauty of halong bay another information for you guys uh the presidential suite we got upgraded to actually costs $530 per night it is absolutely crazy that's I think a little bit of an extreme price tag and uh, I'm not really sure if it's actually worth it I'm gonna leave you guys with my thoughts uh, I mean you get most likely probably the same experience if you book a normal uh, normal suite you just not gonna have like a huge balcony or uh, a jacuzzi inside but I guess it doesn't make so much difference to spend double the price just to have a uh, jacuzzi bathtub instead of a normal one or something. I don't know. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna let you guys know how I find it. But that price tag uh, for me, at least, it's a bit like too expensive for one night. But maybe for some people, they were willing to spend it just to have those amenities. But yeah, I prefer having this stunning view and not a jacuzzi. But for some people, that might not be the case. But yeah, as I said, I'm gonna head down to my room, enjoy my stay a bit. And then I'm gonna cut you guys with some uh, activities. So, just made it uh, here. We are currently on the kayak. Look at the scenery over here. Absolutely stunning. There's some caves over there. So, just made it here inside the caves. Look at this. You can hear the uh, the bats. Absolutely stunning. Just came back from uh, the activities. The sun is currently down. Basically, a view of uh, almost nothing actually. The camera doesn't pick anything up. You can see a little bit the landscapes, but basically pitch black. Uh, so yeah, pretty good. Uh, let me just clarify that all the activities here are uh, optional. So you can uh, select if you want to join the activities or just stay on the cruise ship itself anything you can from Kanoi there's also a a class tomorrow morning at uh, 6 a.m. I think something like that you can you can select if you're gonna do any of the activities here so it's basically everything optional uh, now it's currently 7 p.m. we're gonna be heading down for dinner uh, I don't think I'm gonna be recording anything uh, it's not gonna be a buffet so it's basically a menu and uh, uh, what we are going to have is, I think this is starter, uh, a main course and a dessert. Uh, basically the starter is uh, pumpkin soup, then, uh, oh yeah, then you have some appetizers, some uh, uh, some shrimp and some, uh, what you call it, some oysters or something like that. And then the main course is a steak, which is very nice. And they also came in my room, I don't know if it's like, uh, I don't know, because I, I asked for it as well. They came to my room and they asked me how will my steak cooked and whatnot so that's another bonus and then you have a nice little dessert and whatnot but yeah, overall pretty good 
I'm gonna say from now I'll think one uh, one night is enough here. Uh, the time flies by, you know. It's uh, I mean it's already 7 p.m. But yeah, I still have uh, a lot to enjoy. I'm gonna sit here, uh, enjoy my beers, you know, which I got previously from the the girl that was riding the boat over here. But yeah, uh, as I said, uh, I'm gonna hold out, have my dinner. I'm gonna catch you guys probably tomorrow morning, uh, hopefully uh, during the uh, the sunrise. And currently 5 a.m., 5:20, and uh, I woke up early to get some uh, nice views of the uh, sunrise here in uh, Halong Bay. And I'm just gonna show you guys how magical this is. Look at that! That is absolutely stunning. I think uh, I think just right now well, I'm gonna just gonna sit down here I'm gonna make my coffee sit down and just enjoy the scenery over here I think I think probably I don't know the camera doesn't do, uh, probably doesn't do justice for how this view looks right now. It's literally absolutely stunning. I mean, I can see limestone rocks as as the eye, as far as the eye can see. It's absolutely, absolutely crazy. I'm gonna just sit down here, have my coffee, and relax with the view. And I'm, I'm gonna say one thing: probably the money, the money I spent, is probably only worth it for just this, just this view here just being able to uh, to experience this to be honest so if you're going if you're definitely if you're coming on a Halong Bay cruise just wake up wake up a bit early and just uh, taking the views it's super quiet yeah it's, it's absolutely uh, absolutely magical I mean you have to just wake up early you, you only got to do it once so wake up early and just enjoy the sun rays enjoy the views here in Halong Bay So we had a breakfast and we also had a, uh, a lunch. It's currently uh, 10 a.m. A pretty early lunch, but it had many options. It was a, both the breakfast and the uh, lunch were a buffet. Uh, pretty good. The food here is exceptional. Absolutely amazing. You have everything from meat to fish to noodles, anything you probably ever want. Uh, the crew here absolutely excellent everyone was, was smiling very happy very helpful and uh, yeah overall a pretty nice experience here uh, I'm here up the upper deck here this is the fourth floor I think and look at the view here absolutely amazing and uh, that's gonna be the end of the cruise uh, it stated as two nights uh, two days one night but in reality, it's actually one full day and uh, an overnight stay here. So, for Vietnam, this is a, let's say, the more expensive activity to do. Uh, I will provide you guys with uh, an alternative, although I highly recommend Rita Cruises for, uh, for the experience. It was really nice. I haven't uh, experienced any other cruise here. There are many thousands of cruise ships, as you can see, over here, over there thousands of options to choose from but for me Rita Cruz was really good it was an amazing experience as I said exceptional food amazing stuff really nice sweet uh, I highly recommend uh, recommend them although as I said I haven't tried other cruises as well but if you're looking for that alternative that budget friendly alternative you can do a uh, let's say a boat tour or even I think an overnight tour uh, for let's say not even half the price it costs I think around 40 to 50 US dollars if you go to Katba Island and get a boat from there now it's not gonna be the same experience it's not gonna be that five-star all-inclusive you know sweet amazing it's just gonna be a regular boat uh, you pay for your dinner probably what, what not but it includes all the activities you get to explore Langha Bay, Halong Bay here and you basically get the uh, the same you I'm coming I'm coming so yeah we're about to leave but as I said you basically get the uh, get the same 
view and whatnot, just a little bit slightly different experience, but if you're willing to save money, then I would suggest going for that. Now, I have to go. That was the end of the cruise. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.